Hi, I'm Gerard T. Shelby, your host for Sway TV, and I'm here with my guest from the south side of Chicago, Carl West. So, Carl West, tell me a little bit about yourself. I am a native Chicagoan, born in Chatham, not too far from here. Uh, parents still live there, at least my father does anyway, and uh, went to CVS High School, Burnside Grammar School, and Robert Morris College. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Roosevelt, not Roosevelt, I went to Lewis College. I went to Roosevelt for a little while, but then I went to Lewis College and um, they pursued a career in management marketing. And so now here I am as a business owner and a community mover, yes. So, so tell us a little bit about your profession and what you do. Well, I am, I've been in the publishing business since I was, God, in my mid-twenties. I always wanted to be in communication, so when I graduated college and put a little time in working, I decided to start a magazine, so that's what I did. It was a magazine called The Truth. It was a hip-hop culture magazine. And so um, I just recently, I'm, I'm going to say the word recently, but four years ago, um, and I let the magazine go. And I decided to take everything online electronically, hit the social media part of it, and then so I launched an online news service called uh, Truth Be Told. And so that's been four years now, and it's been a great business. It's been a great product, yes. So how do you how do you manage all your time with the online magazine and the magazines? Because us here, we we also does the online magazine. Well, I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, so I've been able to kind of put together a system that works for me. And once you learn a system and you learn who you are and what and how to maneuver it, then it gets easy. I mean, it's pretty simple now because once again, I've been doing it for quite a while. Yeah. Okay. So, what are some people, or or maybe yourself, that made you want to pursue this career? Once again, I always loved the media. I was fascinated with media and how it had such an influence on people's lives. And then being a communicator, you know, being young, I had mentioned to you that when I was in, in, in grammar school and high school, I got kicked out right. uh, of class a lot of times for talking too much, right? And so I was able to transform that somehow through the graces of God. He in impacted me, and I took that, that skill of communicating and turned it into a business now, yeah. So what, so what would you say are some of your most rewarding moments of your career? Right now is one of them. Right now? Yeah, right here. having you do this is one because that's what it's all about, seeing young people like you and your whole crew uh, all behind the cameras just being inspired to do something. I mean, we live for that. I mean, when you have the kind of gift that I have and, and you know that God has been giving you, giving you something that's, that's meaningful, you want to be able to pass that on. And that's why when I got the call, at the last moment, you know, by a friend of mine, I came here and did this because I know it's about giving. Mm -hmm. Service It's the most important thing to me. So what choices, what are some of the choices that you made when you were our age to become who you are today? Well, I made a lot of bad choices. I mean, <laughs> you make bad choices to teach you how to make good choices. So I made a lot of bad choices and, uh, you know, I can't even tell you how many, right? Yeah, it was and so what many. They were, uh, because I may they might have to come get me. <laughs> but uh, you know, you learn again, and you start making good choices for the most part. And then I said to you before, you have to surround yourself around a great support system, get you some mentors who you can go to to help you when you have decisions to make. So, do you still have your mentor Absolutely. from high school? I have I have several mentors, and I probably have one or two that I've had for years, 20 years or so, uh, but, but I'm constantly calling them up and going, sit on the floor, and I literally do this. I sit at their at they feet, um, and I let them, you know, tell me exactly what it is because they have knowledge and information that I need and I want, and so I have no problem with going, getting on my knees and, and literally begging for that information. So is it a back and forth thing? You have information for them and they have information for you? Well, yeah, because they old and stubborn as well. <laughs> and they try to tell me that they still stuck in kind of the old way of doing things, which is cool right. because some things don't change. But then there are some new dynamics that needs to be incorporated. And so I'm able to kind of let them know through pushing and pulling and, and, and having the, like, but some things they just, they just not going to come to, to terms with. So we don't worry about whether we 
uh, have a, a, a right or wrong moment. It's just moments because every mm -hmm. moment that you have with somebody is a good one. I always equate sports to life in terms of teamwork. Right. Hard work, commitment, sacrifice, all those things dedication. are very important. Dedication, all those things are very important to, to win in the game of life. Rather, and I don't mean to win, but being able to fulfill your objectives, yeah. So on your, on, your, on your road to coming up, do you feel like you prepared yourself for who you are today? That's a good question, young brother. I like that. Yeah, because I do. I, I'm a combination of about 20 people who I've met in my life, met read about, seen on TV, uh, you know, even the cat who I never known and I bumped into him and he said something or I saw something and I said, man, that's pretty interesting and I will incorporate that into my life. But I believe that I am, I'm built this way. I always say I was built this way because I've studied. I studied who I wanted to be. I watch other people and so I feel that today I'm almost there. Uh, I got some ways to, I got a little while to go, a little ways to go, but I'm almost the man that I'm that I, I dreamed of being at some point, you know. Yeah. And I, so somebody always told me, walk the way you're supposed to. Walk how you want to be. Even if you don't fit the, even if the shoes are too big, right. you get in them. Even if the clothes don't fit, you wear them. Even if you don't have the money, you act like you got it. So always act like the person you dream of being. And then one day you will fit into those shoes, you'll grow into the suit, and hopefully you will acquire a couple of dollars, not, you know. <laughs> so is there a time when you ever felt like giving up? Always. <laughs> no. So, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> it's all right. No, that was many a time I felt like giving up. Um, just, was well, it some things that kept you going? Was it yourself, other people? All of that. Faith in myself, other people. And I felt those people were all messengers from God. I, you know, I believe in God completely. I believe that he has... He, he, he gives you, I always say, uh, God works in those who are working. So if you're working towards something, he's going to work with you. I mean, you can't sit on the couch and be like, give me a job and expect that to happen. Right. You got to get up and make things happen. And if you do all the right things the way you're supposed to do, hopefully uh, things, I believe, not hopefully, I believe things will come into play for you. So the harder you work and the more you prepare, I think God will deliver those things for you. But, uh, I, yeah, I had tons of people, those 20 people that I said I'm a combination of, all gave me something to inspire me. But I wanted to give up many a times, but I just knew, and I go back to that statement I made, I was built for this. I believe that God gave me this and told me, that whole thing against another, it's another scripture phrase that, you know, he wouldn't bring you this far to leave you. So at some point I got to that realization that I wouldn't have come this far through all of the journeys that I went through, all the obstacles, I always call swimming in the deep blue sea with sharks, right? right? I survived the sharks. And so it must have been some reason why I survived the sharks, right? Because, yeah. What is one thing or like a couple steps that you can give us as teens who created this, this Sway TV? It's great too, yeah. So absolutely. what are some steps that you can tell us or give us that we can leave here with Focus today? Focus and be committed. If you don't, don't start this if you're not going to finish it, right? Because you, you want to start something that you can finish. It's not about, again, winning or losing. You want to be able to see this thing all the way through. And whatever happens, happens. But stay committed and be focused. Yeah, right. I mean, you know, if you, you, you sit down and you put this together, it seems like you guys put a lot of energy and a lot of work into this, so don't let this be for naught. All right. Yeah. I want to come back and sit down here again. and. And from the looks of it, you don't have that much more polishing to do. I mean, you pretty polished young brother. I like your questions. I don't know who gave, who made them up, but they was good questions. Those wasn't on here. I did. Yeah. I see. I know you wouldn't even <laughs> read that little iPad you got in your lap. <laughs> you was kind of flowing off the top of your head. That's what I'm saying. That was right. that was pretty good, right? Yeah. Thank so, you. So y'all, for all of you guys, just keep up the, you know, stay focused and be committed. And you know, when I come back again, you know, maybe I'll interview you. <laughs> All right, that sounds that interesting. It? Yeah. Nothing else. <laughs> no. Sure. Yes, like positive. This. Okay. All right, I want to thank my guests for coming out today. Carl West, thank you for coming out. I'm Gerate Shelby, your host. This was Sway TV. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>